Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to Q&A Sunday. I got a nice episode set up for you guys, but before we hop into this episode, I wanted to let you guys know that we did not meet the quarter for 2,500 likes on last week's video, so there will not be a challenge this week. Maybe it'll happen next week, maybe it won't. It's all up to you guys. If you drop 2,500 likes right now, we get a challenge for next week. But let's hop into today's video. All right, so today's first question comes from Peniel Atkins. I hope I didn't John Lou that. Yo, AKC, what do you think about Tom Brady deflating balls? First of all, we're going to pause that. Secondly, I feel like a real repercussion should be that the team should take fault in anything Tom Brady did. So if he deflated balls and he found him guilty, championships should be stripped, uh, MVPs, any type of scoring title, anything. All that type of stuff should be stripped. Now, of course, we all know that in college football, if one player does something or a coach or somebody from their athletic director's board, something, the whole team suffers. Everybody gets penalized. So I feel like Tom Brady only being a person that gets suspended or sits out for games, that's not how it should be. Everybody should be penalized. That's just, just me. I'm a cold-hearted Eagles fan. Yeah, we lost to him a few years back, so I'm still pissed. All right, so the next question is from Young Sinatra. What games are you most looking forward to? And can you add me on PSN? All right, I'm gonna add you on PSN because you asked nicely. And uh, what games am I most looking forward to? That would be 2K, Madden, Metal Gear, Batman. And I will have to say Call of Duty. And I am looking forward to Need for Speed. And NBA Live, I'm going to give it another chance. Um, it only takes me a few games to figure out if I like a game. So if NBA Live doesn't step it up, I won't be playing that game long term. You know, last year, I just couldn't stomach it. But uh, hopefully they do better this year and I'll have something, another NBA game to play. Madden as well. Madden, I couldn't stomach for that long as well. All the camera changes and the way that the, the career and franchise and all that was set up, didn't really like it too much. All right, next question comes from my Angela Ott. Will you be doing a 2K My Park series soon? Now, I don't know if this person wants to know if I'm going to be doing my In The Real Life Park series or if I'm going to be doing like a Road to the Legend 1, 2, or 3 Park series. I have the entire summer all the way up until September to try to get the Legend 3. I'm going to try my best. It's hard for me to play online games, get gameplay for you guys, live stream, and put up a whole bunch of YouTube videos, deal with the family, work at a job. It's stressful and I go to the gym, it's insane. So my schedule does not have me playing 2K 12 to 20 hours a day. I'm sorry. But in the real life, my park series coming soon, I will be dropping more information about that in a few days. All right, now that we answered all the YouTube questions, if anybody wants to have me answer a question next week, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below and I will hopefully use your question in my next Q&A series. Let's hop over to Twitter. All right, so uh, Chubby Thug wants to know, what's your pull to gaming? What is the driving force behind all you do to entertain us? Well, my pull to gaming started with Nintendo. I've been playing games since Nintendo. Um, for the entertainment factor, I guess you could say a small hobby from NBA 2K11 and 2K10 crew mode. I was editing highlights, putting them on YouTube, and then you guys just start saying, hey, we wanna hear your voice. Next thing you know, hey, we wanna see you on camera. And I just do whatever I can to entertain you guys because it's a hobby that turned into somewhat of a, I guess you could say a social bond between me and my internet friends, which are you guys. All right, this next question comes from kid underscore breezy. How far do you think the Bulls are gonna go next season? Well, first of all, the Bulls just released their coach. Uh, Tibbs, I'm sorry to see you go. Um, I don't know what they're gonna do. They still should have the same roster with a couple new draft picks and stuff like that. They're not a bad team. It's just that it's hard for them to get over that hump. D Rose, he was playing fantastic in the playoffs. It's just that they have to find something to get over the hump. Uh, whatchamacallit was injured Paul Gasol. So I feel like once Paul comes back, they're going to do the same thing they did last year. They're going to be okay to great. And they're going to make it to the playoffs like every year. And hopefully, you know, hopefully we see them go far. For the MVP, for D-Rose, I don't know about that. I can't, I can't see that in his near future anymore. I don't know, man. There's too many great NBA players nowadays, man. D-Rose, he had his shine. He had his season, but he just couldn't pull out that chip, too. I know a lot of Chicago fans want to see it come back to Chicago, but eh, 
I don't know. All right, this next question comes from Barago Mo 23. If the NBA wanted to draft you with a $10 million contract, would you leave to go to the NBA or stay home? Bruh, that's like asking me, would I go to an all-you-can-eat buffet at Red Lobster? That's like asking me, would I want to be starred in a movie? Would I want the starting role? That's like asking me, would I want to win the lottery? Hell yeah! Man, I would leave and go to the NBA. Me and my girl, my two kids, we'd be out of here, man. I'd get nice cars, nice house. i invest in some, make reoccurring money. I don't even care if it's for one year, $10 million. We talking about $10 million. We ain't talking about 10,000. We talking about $10 million. Stop playing with me, man. You got damn right I would. Shit. All right, guys, I answered enough questions from Twitter. If you want to leave me a question from Twitter, you can use the hashtag AskIKC. You can add me in the tweet or you don't have to. I can see all the tweets from the hashtag alone. So if you want to leave a question for next week's video, make sure you leave it on Twitter. Hashtag AskIKC. Hey, yo, hey, yo, what's up? Calling from Baltimore, Maryland. You already knew somebody was gonna voicemail you or tweet you something, but I'm gonna put it out. Who you think gonna win the finals, Cavs or Warriors? Okay, uh, I think that the Warriors are gonna win the finals. I, I made this prediction in Nike Fallers video on commentators on. I still feel like the Cavs are the superior team. Now I know that LeBron James is LeBron James, but I just feel like the Cavs got too many weapons. LeBron James, on the other hand, he has weapons which he can sharpen or they can go dull at any moment. We don't know if JR is going to be sharp shooting. We don't know if Iman is going to step up. We don't know if Mozgov is going to do what he does on the boards and blocks. It's hard to tell, but I can, know what I can tell you. If Klay Thompson is in this series and Green and Steph and everybody just comes together as a unit, they going to turn up on the Cavs, man. I'm just saying. I got the Warriors, man. Hands up. I know. I'm a Sixers fan, though. What's up? My name is Caleb Terrington, and I watch, I love your videos, and I was saying, like, I need help in high school, and I'm supposed to be in 10th grade next year, and I need some advice so I can be successful, and, I'll, and I'm on some good information so I can go back in the future and then be like, who's my role model? I can be like, I put a key card. So, yeah, uh, peace. All right, so you would like advice on becoming a sophomore in high school. Well, from my experience in high school, I can tell you this. Do not sell yourself short. What you wanna do in a plan for high school is if you have classes like AP classes or honors classes, I would take the hardest classes possible. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, why would he want me to take the hardest possible classes? What if I can't handle it? You can only do what you put your mind to. I will tell you this, if you take these honor classes, social media, gaming, uh, uh, it's a lot of things that I can tell you. It's, it's just what type of field you wanna take. Like, say you're great in sports, right? And you're like, I would say top five on your basketball team. Focus on sports and school. Don't take the honors classes, take the AP classes. But if you don't have any sports background, I will work on the honors classes to work on yourself, work on your mind so you can use this as a stepping stone for college. 10th grade is where things start getting rough. You have countless tests, countless homework. You have to have one-on-one -on -one sessions with your teacher. I tell anybody, go in for tutoring. Teachers always say, they always give you tutoring options. They always say, I'm here to help. Take their advice, take the advantages and you, I guarantee, when it's time to go to college, you'll be at the top of your class, yo. I've seen a lot of people that come into high school, botch their entire ninth grade year, does nothing. But by the time they're a senior, valedictorian is on the list, I promise you. Just focus on school, take those hard classes, take notes. Please do your homework. And you know, when you wanna be on social media and you wanna game and stuff like that, you have to find time to iron that out. Maybe an hour or two, you know what I'm saying? Game for a little bit, but focus on school, yo. I promise you. It will work for you in the, in the long run, I promise you, yo. 
Yeah, what's good? I can see you, bro. I'm just calling um up for a Q and A. Uh, my name is Brian, and I want to um know how to like what's the best way to attract to attract viewers on Twitch. Like my YouTube channel is going pretty good, but I just wanted to you know just go ahead and um, start some 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 Twitch. So how do you attract viewers? Can you help me out with that? Can you give me some tips, please? And then um, I would really appreciate you're my favorite YouTuber. You probably um, have seen me tweet to you sometimes. Um, you've retweeted some of my tweets. So um, can you um, please um, add me on PSN? Be so hard. B S A H A D, man. Thanks, man. Peace. All right. To answer that question, the way to give viewers a Twitch is very easy, but some people think it's very hard. First thing is, when you're starting out on Twitch, you want to stream from your console, which is Xbox One or PS4. Now, in order to get viewers, you want to add as many friends as possible. This means when you go to parks, when you go to Rex, if you play 2K, this is if you play 2K, you can go to parks and Rex and add everybody from your affiliations. Now, when you go up against people in different affiliations and they say, a good game and a message or something add them to your friends list because every time you broadcast from your console those friends will see that you're broadcasting and they may want to come over and play with you they may be broadcasting so now their viewers know who you are especially if you're good at the game then once you get your your talent up and you get your your cards up with all the viewers and stuff like that you can start moving that over to like the computer where you can add face cams overlays nice little alerts and all that pretty jazz but i promise you doing it from your console and using social media to push and calling up your friends even if you say hey yo um i'm about to hit the wreck y'all um i need four people and you call everybody and you open up a group chat and everybody starts watching that's what it's all about you need to have friends in real life and friends via the internet and social media in order to grow your base i'm telling you it can get just as big as you can Every dream possible. Trust and believe. I've done it. Yo, iPod. Oh, uh, it's me, Jane. I wanted to know if you ever met a famous celebrity or a famous like athlete. It could be in the NBA, NFL, anything. All right, thank you and bye. And you're awesome. Well, uh, thank you for leaving that comment. You're awesome as well. Uh, for the NBA, I've met Michael Carter Williams, Allen Iverson, Andrea Godala. Uh, Aaron McKee, Eric Snow, I've met Larry Hughes, I've met, I think I met Drew Holiday once. I never met Noel or Embiid. Uh, I got to meet them next season. You know, you just got to stay late after games. Uh, Eagles, I met Trent Cole, Donovan McNabb. Uh, who else? I think I met Shady once. And I think that's about it for the Eagles. And for UFC, I've met so many UFC fighters, it's insane. Uh, I've met Ronda Rousey, I've met uh, Ronda Lee Silver, I've met, uh, who, who else was that? Oh, I definitely met uh, Wyman, uh, who else did I meet? It was, a, it was a bunch of people at that last event, that EA event that we went to. Um, can't name all the names. I, I met uh, Little Nog, I think. Yeah, Little One. Uh, never met uh, Anderson Silva, never met John Jones. Uh, I met Rampage, and I met who else? Cormier. I did met, meet Cormier. I met him uh, at the last uh, EA event that I went to. Uh, I think it was like UFC 175, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, never met any baseball players. Uh, Never met any WWE uh, people as well, which sucks, you know, but that's okay. But yeah, I think that's, I think that's about it. Uh, movie stars, uh, never really met too many movie stars. Um, I will be going to a red carpet soon, though. Um, I'll probably give you guys more information on that in about a week or two. But uh, yeah, that's probably when I'll update that. Um, but I haven't met anybody from the movie scene. But uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's enough voicemails for today. If you want to leave me a voicemail, my phone number is in the about section. So go ahead and leave me a question on there. Uh, I hope you guys had a dope time for Q&A Sunday. Don't forget, if we meet the goal of 2,500 likes, I will do a challenge next week. 
and don't forget you can leave challenges inside the comment section i do save like youtube comments tweets and stuff like that for like different weeks and stuff in different tiers of what i want to do you know such as challenges uh the topic things like that but uh yeah man this is your boy ikc signing out hope you had a dope time and uh don't forget the about section that has all the information that you need